What makes the lava, the geochemistry of the magma and resulting lava so unique compared to other places in the world at, at Kilauea? So this is a little more in line with my expertise. So I'm what you would call a petrologist. So I use okay. the chemistry of rocks and minerals to better understand, mm -hmm. you know, why Kilauea erupts, what causes the eruptions, but also where the magmas are coming from and how they change through time. And so in Hawaii, as you've noted before, our eruptions are dominantly effusive. They produce hohoihoi, lava flows. They're basaltic in composition. So they're very rich in elements like iron and magnesium. And isotopically, they can have a huge range of composition. But in general, they fit the mold of an ocean island basalt. And ocean island basalts tend to be the most or some of the most mafic or primitive or hot, you know, richest in iron and magnesium eruptions on the planet. And then as you move into other tectonic settings, like we've mentioned a few times, like the subduction zones on continental margins, for example, in the Pacific Northwest, they also have some basalts, but they tend to also dominantly erupt more evolved compositions. So things that have lower amounts of iron and magnesium, higher amounts of things like silica or uh, alkali elements like sodium and potassium and those kinds of things. And again, in our conversation today, we're using many examples of, you know, this versus that comparisons. And they're not so much, you know, two types as opposed to N members of a continuum, right? Right. So yeah. you can, you know, in Hawaii, there are rare examples of more evolved compositions. It's not that we only erupt basalt, it's that we primarily erupt basalt. And that's worth talking about a little bit. You know, we talked about effusive and explosive, then there's felsic and ultramafic. Rocks fall along gradients between those two, but those are the two end members of like, you're calling most evolved, most full of silica, potassium, sodium. And then ultramafic is just iron, magnesium, silica, oxygen, basically olivines related kind of minerals like that. But it, in, in, in geology, as you know, we use these diagrams like end members and things like that to kind of talk about on the extreme end of things, this is what you'd see on the extreme end of things. But this is a little bit of that and a little bit of this mixed yeah. in together. 